talking about allegations that he is flip-flopping on his immigration plan tonight. Trump insists he is not changing his stance, but the Clinton campaign is taking the opportunity now to use Trump's plans against him. All of this as more focus is now being put on Hillary Clinton's private email server. News 8's Scott McDonald is here now with the very latest on Vote 2016. Scott. And Darren Trump focusing on a new look campaign and Clinton's private email server is back out in the public again. With fresh faces on the team and a candidate that appears to have done a 180, the Trump camp says they're better than ever. This was the best week, I think, so far in the Trump campaign. Standing strong in his firm immigration stance this morning on Fox News. We have to be very firm. We have to be very, very strong when people come in illegally. So you're not flip-flopping? No, I'm not flip-flopping. Yet it's still softening with no mention of his controversial deportation force. Clinton off the trail today, but she's still dealing with email headaches. Today, the FBI releasing tens of thousands of new, non-work-related Clinton emails from her time as Secretary of State, although they still have to be reviewed by the State Department to figure out if there's any duplicates. And a conservative watchdog group releasing new emails from aide Huma Abedin that they claim shows donors to the Clinton Foundation got special access to the State Department. Any Secretary of State has aides who are... Uh, getting emails or contacts by a broad range of sort of, uh, of uh, individuals. Number one, they should shut it down. Number two, they should give the money back to a lot of countries that we shouldn't be taking and they shouldn't be taking money from. But Clinton's VP firing back. Before you go about attacking a charity, why don't you come clean about your own business dealings and tell the American people who you are in debt to? And tomorrow, Trump will head to the battleground state of Ohio. Clinton set to head west to Las Vegas. We're going to follow both candidates all the way to the general election. In the studio tonight, Scott McDonald, News 8 